I think in North Carolina, the educational issue that they should pay attention to is the lack of teacher candidates. Um, teacher pay is critical to get us closer to the national average so that we can keep good, qualified teachers that will help the students to be successful in the classroom in the profession. I think probably now the biggest issue we have is the decline in people entering, um, entering the profession through our colleges in North Carolina. I think it's 25 to 30 percent decline over the past five years. Well, most definitely I think it has to do with uh, teacher pay, uh, which elevates teacher recruitment. Yeah, I think the greatest issue in front of us right now is teacher compensation. Um, the teacher candidate pool for education is drying up very quickly. Um, they're leaving for other, other professions in other states and we want them here in North Carolina. I think uh, funding is the biggest issue now because funding is pretty much tied with a lot of things. When you're looking at teacher's pool, administrator's <laughs> pool, it's all tied with funding. Um, I live in a high growing district where we're going to need a lot of people to move here to want to teach over the next 10 or 15 years and that decline um, is a major issue that we need them to focus on. Um, you know, we're in a time where um, our employees are serving and working very hard for our kids but are in a political climate where I think they feel undervalued. Um, it's becoming harder to recruit people into education because of all of the things that are surrounding educators. I think that's the biggest thing. So we have not had any increase in the use. So that's having a trickle effect in everything that's real. And especially those in my district alone, over 52% of our employees have 10 or more years of experience. And that's a group of, of employees in North Carolina that haven't seen really any leveraging of improved compensation.